Hello everyone, uh, this is our project, Video Surveillance and Suspicious Activity Detection. Uh, our team is Team Edigma. So as an introduction to our project, Autonomous Video Surveillance has become a novel approach in order to address problems related to security install installations. But such systems focusing on military aspects are lacking. So in our project, we are presenting all-in-one uh, video surveillance system with the capabilities of uh, suspicious object detection, face recognition and number plate detection, human and vehicle tracking, suspicious human activity recognition capabilities. Uh, so our aim is to develop an intelligent video surveillance system in order to manage security on security installations. And our main objectives are uh, vehicle number plate detection and recognition, human face detection and recognition, real-time video and person tracking, real-time suspicious object detection and abandoned object detection, and finally, suspicious activity detection. Uh, so uh, when going through the literature surveys, uh, uh, for all the seven basic modules in our project, uh, we have identified different approaches uh, that have used by different researchers. And also we have find uh, positive and both positive and negative aspects there. So in our approach, we have provided our solution in order to address most of the problems that have faced by the other researchers and also including some of the positive aspects of uh, in their researchers. Next. So this is our approach and for, uh, there are seven uh, main modules in our uh, solution and for each and every uh, module, uh, the input is a CCTV feed and uh, for the number plate detection and recognition module, the basic technologies used are uh, image processing, YOLO version 5 and PADLOCR. And for face detection and recognition, we have used OpenCV and Hard Cascade classifier and also face embedding models. Uh, for abandoned object detection, we have used OpenCV and Matplotlib mainly. And for human suspicious activity detection, we have used uh, OpenCV, Matplotlib, Plotlib, TensorFlow, and Keras. And for human tracking, face cover detection, suspicious object detection, and uh, vehicle tracking, we have used uh, YOLO version 5, YOLO version 4, and deep sort image processing, uh, deep sort convolution neural network like top technologies. So, this is the overall design of our project. Uh, so, the main input to our uh, each and every uh, module module is uh, CCTV video footage, and uh, some of the some of uh, the modules run parallelly, and uh, so, such mo some modules such as uh, number plate recognition uh, gives the output of their module to other modules also. So likewise, uh, by going through each and every module, uh, we are finally uh, calculating uh, the threat to the uh, security installment. Next. So this is our first module, number plate detection and recognition. Here, this is the design for that module. Uh, first image uh, acquisition is done, and then those images are labeled and pre-processing. And then uh, they are uh, trained uh, by using YOLO version 5 uh, detection module. After that, the plate is segmented, and then the novel uh, steps such as a uh, skew correction shadow removal and up resolution is done for that segmented uh, plate image. And finally, the plate number is recognized with the timestamp. Next. So this is the, these are the implementation steps of uh, number plate detection and recognition. First, uh, data is collected and labeled using label image tool. Next. Then uh, those data are pre-processed into a YOLO compatible format. Next. After that, uh, those images are trained by using uh, YOLO version 5 custom object detection model. And these are the test uh, results that we have obtained uh, through the uh, training process. 
Next. So this is the output of number plate detection uh, model. And here these number plates are then segmented. Next. So these are the uh, new steps that we have included. Uh, one is de-skewing. If there is a skew, then those images are skewed in order to enhance the accuracy. So then they are de-shadowed. Next. So this is uh, the, uh, another new step that we have included, that is up resolution. Here we can increase the resolution of the image in order to uh, increase the accuracy of optical character recognition. Next. So this is the number plate character recognition uh, part. And here, uh, the final output, the number plate, uh, the plate number is given as the output. Next. So as an evalu evaluation, uh, so uh, here for the number plate detection, we have used uh, YOLO version 5 because comparatively that is uh, fast and more accurate. And also it is very easy to train and due to this, well proven architecture, uh, we uh, found this as a more suitable approach for real time video processing. Next. So for the number plate character recognition, we have uh, tried uh, mainly three approaches. The first one is using PyTestract engine, but this was less accurate because this PyTestract was designed mostly targeted on paper text. Next. So the second approach is using a convolutional neural network, specially trained with number plate characters. This was comparatively more accurate. Uh, but the third approach, uh, which we are really using is uh, Paddle OCR. So using Paddle OCR and going through these few shadow up resolution uh, steps, we could uh, increase the accuracy. So this is the uh, best approach that we have used in our project. So here is another model in our uh, research. Uh, it is abandoned object detection. For so uh, for this abandoned uh, object detection, uh, first of all, frames are acquired on the CCTV feed, and then the images are subjected to local operations to separate foreground from the back background. Uh, this way, the images are pre-processed, and then the foreground blobs or contours are taken. So uh, from these contours, image moments are taken and the centroids are calculated. So uh, uh, after that, uh, the consecutive similar, similar frames are filtered and unique frames are ignored. Uh, that is done to isolate uh, the, uh, uh, the non-moving objects. So finally, the top probable contours are filtered by similarity, occurrence, and position to isolate the non-moving objects. Uh, these identified objects are highlighted and displayed as a one. Uh, the next one shows the first approach I've taken. So uh, in this, the abandoned objects were detected by using a pre-trained model and image processing calculations. Uh, here, the computational power and size, uh, size of training data set became a bottleneck. Uh, so I moved on to the next approach. Uh, here's the second approach I've taken, that is uh, using uh, motion analysis, uh, same as I thought in the design here. Uh, here is a like a su successful approach, uh, and uh, this shows how the system separates foreground blocks from background, and uh, this shows the final result. Uh, here, uh, this the system shows uh, stationary objects, and uh, it displays the alert. So, as per the evaluation. Uh, this related work shows uh, higher false detections, accuracy reductions due to image occlusions, noise clutter, and also higher computation power is needed. So um, in this first approach that I attempted, uh, I've taken uh, a pre-trained pre model 
and uh, this model is required for detecting persons and objects separately. And also the performance factor became a bottleneck. Uh, so here in the successful approach, uh, here uh, there are most detections and also the evaluation has showed around 86% positive detections of abandoned objects. And also the images are enhanced by image processing operations to reduce the dependency of accuracy of the system on image quality. Uh, and also uh, it doesn't require a machine learning model. So uh, the computation power needed is less. And also here, uh, the memory is clear to reduce repetitions and force detection. And also uh, the performance factor doesn't become a bottleneck here. And also no tracking is needed. Uh, there are some limitations of uh, this approach. Uh, it has a slight possibility for uh, ghosts. That means uh, remnants of moving objects to be identified as abandoned objects. And uh, the object detection accuracy is comparatively low compared to machine learning approaches. That means uh, detections of uh, objects and persons separately. So, uh, and also the image quality can affect accuracy. Our next module is uh, vehicle tracking. According to previous works, we also follow the uh, uh, flow called uh, detection. Uh, and page extraction, then single camera tracking, and then the camera tracking with page similarity mapping. Next one. Yep. For the uh, vehicle detection, uh, we compared two, uh, two famous uh, network architectures called uh, Detectron and YOLO V5, with same data set and uh, same high parameter. And uh, next one. Uh, for the single camera tracking, we use uh, deep sort uh, for the uh, single camera tracking because it is like great algorithm and it can uh, produce 16 FPS on uh, while maintaining good accuracy. Uh, next time. Uh, for the feature extraction while uh, single camera detection and tracking, we use VGG16 and here as the next step of feature a similar to mapping, uh, we need to create a uh, uh, mean feature vector. Uh, for that, we uh, went through the two approaches. Next one. Uh, one approach is consider all frames in a single camera tracking, and another one is randomly select three, four uh, images from the single camera tracking in, uh, for a uh, single vehicle. Uh, next one. Uh, and uh, as, uh, for the uh, final step of the uh, feature similarity mapping, uh, uh, we went through the several approaches. Uh, those are uh, hashing, system, uh, and SSIM, and the uh, machine learning approaches. Next one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for the uh, Uh, yeah, here we select the uh, clustering approaches. It, it is uh, unsupervised learning methods, and uh, one method is gaming, and another one is SOM. Next one. Next. Next one. Uh, here our results and conclusion uh, for the uh, single camera tracking and detection. Uh, for the de detection, we select detectron with deep sort and YOLO V5 with uh, deep sort. Uh, according to the results, uh, YOLO V5 is the uh, best model for the tracking and uh, tracking uh, object detection in the uh, vehicle detection in the frame. And for the uh, then for the uh, feature extraction, we use uh, VGG16 with uh, multiple images and three four uh, random images in a single frame. Uh, so, uh, according to this, the uh, selecting three four images is uh, get the uh, small time uh, considering uh, all images. So, and uh, it provide good results with uh, less time. So, uh, the selecting uh, three four images is better approach. Approach. Uh, 
and uh, SSIMN hatching is uh, not produce good results. Uh, so when comparing to KMINS and SOM, uh, we uh, we went through the 13 vehicles and uh, in different lo location for the KMINS it detect uh, seven vehicles uh, accurately and so uh, able to detect five vehicles only. Uh, but for the uh, performance comparing with the KMINS and SOM, KMINS take long time uh, because it take we need to uh, determine the value. Uh, so uh, so I'm uh, performed in real time. Next time. Uh, As you can see, this is the evaluation of uh, the module vehicle tracking. And uh, with that, this concludes our presentation. And thank you all.